Mateo in this week's happy hour how to we're mixing up two cocktails that scream summertime ease. We've got Casey Bond. She's with Dark Horse Distillery. Well, welcome, my friend. Thank for, you, Michael, for having me for so much. First time on the show. Very <laughs> welcome, welcome. So what are we making today? Okay, so today we're going to make two cocktails. Um, the roundabout is one we're going to make first. It's going to be using our long shot white whiskey. The roundabout. Okay, yes. I'm all ears. Tell me what goes into it. All right, so first we're going to take, I've got the shaker filled with ice. We're going to do an ounce and a half of our long shot white whiskey. White whiskey. Yes. White, what what white. makes it white? It's unaged, so there, it has not been aged in a barrel. It's that doesn't get the oak or the uh, smoke oh God, it to it. Oh, it smells so good. Thank you. Mm, it smells really good. Okay, white whiskey. Yes, ma'am. Next ma ingredient, I've got an ounce of lemon juice here, and I have pre-measured a teaspoon of table sugar. So just good old just fashioned sugar. sugar. All right. Okay, so we're gonna give it a quick little shake. This is the fun part. Yes, ma'am. This sounds very refreshing. Do you sell a lot of these? We we really do. It's a it's a nice drink for the summertime when it's really hot outside. So I think you're going to these hit. are going to be a winner since it's going to be like 100 degrees today. So yes. yes. So we're just going to pour that in there, and we're going to top off with a little bit of club soda. Club soda, I love it. Yeah. Now why why is it called the roundabout? Um, well, you know, Dark Horse Distillery was founded by a veterinarian who specializes in horse medicine and the roundabout, you know, is roundabout the racetrack. Well, there you go. There we go. So I'm All right. Give I will try stir. this lovely, lovely drink while you get going on the next Wonderful. one. Cheers, dear. Thank you. All right. So the next drink we have is called the Farmer's Almanac. And uh, we're going to take... Ooh. That's strong, girl. <laughs> yes, please. We're going to take two ounces of our Reunion Rye Whiskey here. Two, two ounces. ounces. This is going to be a nice, boozy cocktail. This is a big girl drink. It's You're not messing around, a Casey. Cocktail. A sipping cocktail. All right. We've got one ounce of water. Okay. Half ounce of a peach, sage, brown sugar, simple syrup that I've made up. Well, okay. And a dash of peach bitters. Well, so all right. We're just going to stir that up. Until it's cold. Now, any idea where this name came from, the Farmer's Almanac? Well, I actually, this is one of my creations. Um, you look at you. Thank you. The, uh, the Farmer's Almanac. Um, is it ready to go? It is. May it I has, try? It's, yes. It's very boozy, so be careful. <laughs> it's, um, the Farmer's Almanac has sage in it, and since a sage is a person that can see the future, and a farm can grow rye and peaches and sage, you're going to put the two together and name it the Farmer's Almanac. Casey, I think there's hair on my chest right now. <laughs> More hair. Okay. Anyway, Casey, she shared the recipe for both of these drinks, including how to make the simple syrup in the second drink. It's what, what, and what? Um, such, um, peach, tea, sage, and brown sugar. There you go. You're going to be able to find them on CaseyLive.tv later today. Let's toss things over to Miss Michelle. Here you go, dear. Cheers. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers.